The new stealth U.S. Air Force B-21 bomber, also known as Raider, has taken yet another key technological step toward being ready for war. Naturally, details regarding its specific developmental nuances are not available, as it is a classified Air Force program. However, the service released a new artistic rendering of the B-21 Raider bomber with some new visual improvements. The latest Raider artist rendering graphic does not show any significant changes to the aircraft's general plan form from the one seen in the early official rendering, but new images show a previously unseen design of the cockpit windscreen. According to a press release issued Tuesday by the Secretary of the Air Force, the new rendering highlights the future stealth bomber with Edwards Air Force Base, California, as the backdrop. The 420th Flight Test Squadron based at Edwards AFB will plan, test, analyze and report on all flight and ground testing of the B-21 Raider. When it comes to delivering America's resolve, the B-21 Raider will be standing by, silent and ready. We are providing America's warfighters with an advanced aircraft offering a combination of range, payload, and survivability. The B-21 Raider will be capable of penetrating the toughest defenses to deliver precision strikes anywhere in the world. The B-21 is the future of deterrence. The B-21 Raider is a new high-tech stealth bomber being developed to replace the Air Force's aging bomber fleet. Designed to be long-range, Highly survivable and capable of carrying a mix of conventional and nuclear ordnance, the B-21 will join the nuclear triad as a visible and flexible nuclear deterrent, supporting national security objectives and assuring our nation's allies and partners. The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is an American heavy bomber under development for the United States Air Force USAF, by Northrop Grumman. As part of the Long Range Strike Bomber Program LRSB, it is to be an advanced very long-range, large, heavy-payload stealth intercontinental strategic bomber for the USAF, able to deliver conventional and thermonuclear weapons. The B-21 Raider is the first new Air Force bomber since 1988, the year the B-2A Spirit was unveiled. Named after Doolittle's Raiders, the force of B-25 Mitchell bombers that bombed Tokyo in the spring of 1942, the B-21 is designed to overcome modern air defense threats, including such systems as the Russian S-400 surface-to-air missile system and Chinese J-20 stealth fighter to penetrate enemy airspace. The B-21 will be capable of carrying precision-guided conventional missions and nuclear weapons. As adversaries continue to invest in and develop advanced weapons, the B-21 Raider will provide the United States with a strategic asset capable of penetrating enemy air defenses and reaching targets anywhere in the world, something approximately 90% of the nation's current bomber fleet is incapable of doing. The B-21 will be a flying wing design, a specialty of Northrop Grumman's since the end of World War II. The blending of the fuselage and wing, combined with the lack of horizontal and vertical stabilizers in the rear, is generally thought of as the best shape possible to avoid enemy radars from all directions. A bomber penetrating deeply into enemy territory will likely have radar waves bouncing off it from multiple angles, making all around stealth a necessity. The trend for the B-21 is a refinement of the B-2A's original flying wing shape. The leading edge shape of the B-21 is simpler than the B-2A's sawtooth trailing edge. The cleaner, Simpler trailing edge is probably how the original stealth bomber was supposed to look, but in the 1980s a last-minute demand by the Air Force that the Spirit be capable of low-altitude flight necessitated an expensive design change. As a result, as Aviation Week's analysts point out, the plane is likely optimized for medium and high-altitude flight. Experts believe the B-21 will be smaller than the B-2A, running about two-thirds the size and weight of the older bomber. This is reflected in the fact that the B-21 rendering features fewer main landing gear wheels. The aircraft simply needs fewer landing wheels to support a lighter airplane. Aviation Week points out that the rendering displays a shorter fuselage and air inlets farther forward than the older bomber. This is all to increase internal volume for crew life support, fuel, sensors, and weapons. As a stealthy airplane, the B-21 must store all weapons, sensors, fuel, and other items internally, so space is at a premium.
The U.S. Air Force plans to buy at least 100 B-21 Raiders for $550 million each in 2012 dollars, or about $654 million in 2020 dollars. Ideally, the service wants 200 or more. The aircraft is under development at the Northrop Grumman facility in Palmdale, California, with the first demonstrator aircraft under construction. The bomber was originally supposed to fly in late 2021, but that date is likely to slide into early 2022.